Jess Clamor YouTube channel. Anything can really happen. It's like the FA Cup. You always want the underdogs to do well. So I won't 
consider us underdogs, I'd consider us bang average. But I think we do well if the players are in the right mindset, we have the right manager for it. In uh, what's his face? I feel ashamed that I can't remember his name. You know, I mean, I've I'm knackered, guys. I'm tired today. Uh, so moving on, we have, we have, we have. So I don't think we can win it. If we do, I'd be very happy and I'd be very delighted, and it'll be something that not many people get to see in their lifetimes. But it'd be good, you know. Jamie Daly, who comments quite frequently, says, "Who will be the next top two players after Messi and Ronaldo?" Now that is an absolutely banging question. I think. In terms of popularity and getting votes, Neymar has to be up there. He might not be the best, but in terms of awards winning things, I think Neymar has to be up there as well as Mbappe. I think based on ability and reputation and uh, popularity, I think Mbappe has to be up there as number one. And then Neymar as a maybe is popular, but there are plenty of people that don't like him and I think in terms of a fan's perspective he's gone down on your view over the last couple of years um, in terms of ability wise it's a bit of a tough one isn't it you know, you've got Joao Felix which I think a lot of the wonder kids coming through like you know the top top quality youngsters um, I'm trying to really think of that many and I'm itching Split sort of decision on that. 
So, wow, it's my channel, isn't it? It's a my channel. And I do whisper and I do soft speak sometimes. And I do try and make them relax and I release them late on in the evening so that people, especially in the UK, at sort of five o'clock, getting home from work, need to unwind, want to put a video on to have a nap or something. They can watch it or, you know, have it on to go to bed. So, I do have an ASMR channel in that sense, but I don't think, no, I don't think it'd be bigger if it wasn't ASMR. I'm happy it's ASMR. But I do think that not everyone watches it solely for the ASMR. Does that make sense? And I like that. I like the fact that not only am I doing good ASMR, well, I'm hopefully doing good ASMR for you guys, but I'm also, I'm also releasing good content. It's not just like stale content where people are going to be like, that is a good video. I do a different video and people are like, no, and then I just have one video that's good. I'd rather be putting out good reoccurring content that you guys can engage with. So I think that answers that question quite comprehensively. Um, we'll move on to the fee-free stuff because we've, we've sort of push, pushed upon that. So will I be doing a team of the season pack opening? What day am I releasing this? Instagram, I release this the Thursday the 7th. Yes, you will have seen. Uh, I'm not doing a pack opening. I'm not buying points and buying packs. That's not what I'll be doing at any point across FIFA. Um, you may have already seen like a week or two's worth of FIFA content since I've recorded this because I'm really trying to get ahead on videos now. Um, so, so, no is the answer to that. But there will be packs being opened across FIFA, um, whether it's now or later, as far as I'm currently aware of recording. You know, nothing's changed yet. Um, so, in a sense, yes, I will be opening packs, you know, from rewards or foot champs or anything like that, but I'm not opening, I'm not doing a pack opening video. <laughs> Moving on to that, it says, am I going to get Team of the Season red picks? That's from you and Marl. Um, yes, if I do foot champs, then I'll do the foot champs picks. You know, some weekends I will be doing it, some weekends I won't. <laughs> so, biggity bang, that one, and... Pretty much covers that. Uh, three questions left for the questions. It says, can you do a championship team in the season prediction? Now, I would have done, but it's already been released, so I don't think I could fairly... I, I, I couldn't fairly put my own opinion on that, because it's already been released, I know who's in it. But ones that I probably would have put in it would, would have been the Matty Cash. Like I say, he's been on fire this season. Uh, he's going out with a girl that I used to go to school with. Matias Pereira, is that his name, Matias Pereira? Yeah, it is the Brazilian camp, I know he's in it. He's had a great season, as well as Mitrovic and Phillips, the CDM. Everyone knew who was going to get in there, you know, been, a, been one of the Leeds' best players this season. So, that answers that. Eric says, how do you make such good videos? Now, I have, have I done a video where I explain how I make my videos? If I have, leave a comment. If I haven't, leave a comment. Um, about whether you want to see me do a video on how I create content. I'll record a video, but I'll do like a behind the scenes video in ASMR of how I record certain videos. So I'll be like, this is how I set up my camera. This is what I've got it on. This is how I've plugged it in. How I've got blah, blah, blah. This is how I set my camera up here. Uh, this is what I used to edit. This is how I edit. And then this is how you render a video. I want to do that. But then I can do it like from a video you saw the day before or something like that. So if if you like that sort of aspect of a video and you you know really want to know, then feel free to leave me a comment and just say yeah, that'd be pretty pretty cool. Um, but other than him just giving me a compliment by saying I make good videos, uh, thank you Eric for for the lovely comment. Um, I just sit in front of a camera and I speak. So it is not much more than that, is there? So let's highlight you off and on to the last question. It says, video is a class. Thank you, Lewis99. Where are you from now? I don't want to go into too much detail because I have in the past and I get hate comments about where I live and shit. I have to delete them. Um, I'm from the East Midlands. I'll say that. That's pretty easy. I'm, I, when I say that, I'm generically smack bang in the middle of the East Midlands. So I'm like, mid East Midlands is a little bit ridiculous how close I am to the cities but um, yeah I grew up here I grew up there's like 
a spot in the East Midlands that's round, like all of them. Like, I'll say the three major cities of Derby, Nottingham and Leicester. I'm a lot closer to Derby and Nottingham than I am Leicester, though. So I grew up pretty much smack bang in the middle. You know, I've, I've lived closer to one and then closer to the other when I've moved out and stuff like that. And now I'm literally in the middle. So that's about as far as that's getting. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Obviously, many of you know where I work. Um, not that anyone comes in and says anything. Thank you for that, by the way. We're up to 10k subs and no one's come into work and said, or kicked off or done anything to just, you know, ruin my career. But yeah, it's not a career. <laughs> but that's going to end the video. It's good 16 minutes long. Just a nice, easy little video for you guys to chill out to uh, in a couple of days' time. So I think on Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to have the Instagram assumptions up where you guys make assumptions about me. I tell you whether that's true or false. And then I might explain a few bits about them. So that's a little bit different. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I shall see you later. Good.